Sir Biggin Williams, an entrepreneur, philanthropist, astronomer, and physicist. Let's see if we can catch him by surprise. Oh, I didn't see you there. Or did I? You see, I'm hardly ever caught by surprise. Huh. Although it appears, I'm caught by time. I have business to attend. Farewell. But he is more than just a scholar. He has traveled to the peaks of the Himalayas, conquered the plains of the savannah, and even explored the skies. Let us see where he will bring us this time on Gentlemen vs. Wild. I'm not quite sure where I've gotten myself into, but I'm going to do a little bit of exploring so we can find our exact location. I figured out from my calculations that we are in Southern California. There appears to be some sort of intelligent life here, albeit they are very, very primitive. Regardless, we must find the basic necessities. We need hydration, we need nutrients, and we need protection from the harsh environment. Let's get started. It appears that I found some indigenous people in California. Let's try to get a closer look. Excuse me, good sir. Uh, would you happen to have any hydration on you, per se, in that bottle? Who the hell do you think I am, man? Straight fiending on my mobile hand day. Get out of my face, dude. Run, right, good do sir. Something, do Run. something bad. Get out of here. I'm going to attempt to decipher their communique. Let's see if we can get a hang on their language so we can communicate with them better. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I think I've got a hang of their language. Now I'm going to go over there and try to talk to them. Now I can get the water. Dude, it's one. I'm so easy. I got like four more of these oh, yeah. things in my bag. Excuse me, good sir. Bro for show, yellow, gnarly dope hella. Oh, dude, did you try to get a sip of this, man? Yes, absolutely. Whoa, dude, go for it. Sip. Hey, hey, it's gay. Hey, dude, dude, come back here. Well, that was a close one, but at least we escaped. Here I have the hydration. Protein powder. I'm not familiar with this compound. But let's have a taste. Oh, oh, this is horrid. Oh my goodness. This is not drinkable. I have no idea how the Californians ingest this. No, no, this will not suffice for hydration at all. I can't find any water anywhere. There comes a time in a man's life when he must do whatever he needs to do to survive. It looks like this water on the ground is all I have for hydration. I'm gonna need to take it. I've been unsuccessful so far in acquiring proper hydration. Nonetheless, I must move on. The sun is going to set soon, and I should find some nutrients for myself. Luckily, the foliage here is very lush, and I should have no trouble scavenging some fruits from it. Come over here, come over here. Look at this. It appears I've found a fruit. Yes, I've read about these. They're very nutritious. Most of the nutrients being stored in the rind. Let's have a bite. Oh, I've just thrown up three times. It appears that the food is not digestible, nor the water potable. Most likely the small nutrition contributes to the Californians' sheer stupidity. Nonetheless, I must try to find shelter for the night. Let's get going.
Come here, come here. You hear that? Yes, from the reverberations of the ground, we can tell that there's a hollow concave somewhere. Ah, the wind beckons us this way. This will make a great shelter. Come on. I found the cave, and such I found us shelter. Looks like it's mostly a safe cave. This is astonishing. Look at this. It seems like there's clean water running from this, but you can tell from the urine and the smell that it's most likely contaminated. HIV, malaria, who knows? Not safe to drink that at all. Look at this. Absolutely magnificent. It seems like some cave art. It shows that the Californians were at one point capable of some true expression. Ah, more of it. It's magnificent. Number 420. 420. It must be a day of Californians' religious significance. I haven't found any nutrients or hydration, but we're going to have to go to sleep. Here's some convenient blankets to wrap myself in. Sir, Sir Bigham Williams was just taken away by uh uh, by some Californians in, uh, in blue. They said they were police officers. Uh, something about sexual harassment. I don't know, I think, I think that's some cannibal ritual. I don't think he's coming back. Thank you for joining us on this informative episode of Gentlemen vs. Wild. Please stay tuned for National Geographic's exciting two-hour premiere of Animals Having Sex.